My question is, I, I lead the rosary in the uh, in one of a, in one church I go to, and after the rosary, we say, "I'd like to pray these prayers for the Holy Father's intentions and the souls in purgatory." Good. So, a man came up to me after church and said, "Well, our Holy Father." Uh, He's, he's vowing, you know, he's advocating homosexuality and uh, the the end of the Latin Mass. How can you? How can we pray for that? So I I uh, wasn't sure what to say. I mean, I said, well, we have to leave it up to God. I said that, but I also said maybe I should say for his Catholic intentions. No, no, no. Um, we pray. And as we pray, our heart says, not my will, but thine be done. And we know that when we pray for the intentions of the Holy Father, we pray for good intentions. And we leave it to God that if his intentions are misguided, God would uh, correct him and lead him. So we do that every day too, Jim, in our, in our priority with the sisters. Every single day at the conclusion of the rosary, we pray for the intentions of the Holy Father and leave them in God's hands knowing that if, if his intentions are misguided or wrong, we, we want in our hearts for God to correct him. It's perfectly fine, and you should continue. All right, thank you, Mother Mary. You're welcome, dear.